Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk, and we have here a first look Malinovka battle with Captain Carberry spawned into where are they? What the Northwest? This is an encounter battle. He's headed up the hill in his low. He's mid tier in a 357. He's got the Lerva. Is that how you say it? Lerva. The low. The low, as we Americans call it. Because it's spelled L O W E, not Lerva. All right, language Nazis. Go ahead, start the comments. All right, we're headed up the hill. I like this. This is a first look. I haven't seen this. I'm assuming it's a good game. I didn't actually look at the results either. I will say one thing, Captain. For the love of God, put some camo on your hat. What a bald head. All right, we got a T26E5 coming up. He's headed up to the... Ooh, that's... Oh, he bounced one. Put some damage in there. He's headed up to the windmill and he presses the front of his tank into the wall. Nicely done. Gave no great angles. Didn't even take a shot. Those guys didn't like the angles so much they didn't even shoot. Ooh, right into the lower plate. No, that bounces. That's a bummer. And eats one with a track. KB3 wants to shoot him. KB3 doesn't have a good shot. KB3 backs up. Captain Carberry backs in, or goes in, I guess. I'm looking for the underneath. Yeah, that armor is really good. Dab two, Captain Carberry. That's what I would have done. I'd have dabbed two. Probably would have got some shots in there. Let's see what happens. He hasn't dabbed two yet. The KB3. Oh, get that KB3. There you go. Got him. Yes. Nicely done. And another track shot. And that is a good job right there of side scraping and using the front of that building right there or that brick area or is it brick or stone? I don't know what it is but nice job using that. Now he notices that the T30 is over there. I might have backed up and taken a shot at that guy. That's a nice soft hole there, Captain. I think you probably would have had a good time going through that guy. You have to be careful if he's looking at you kind of like that. I'd have ignored those guys on the left side and started working down that T30, especially because of his long reload. There we go. We got two dialed up. We're going to shoot one more time in that lower plate. And that time it actually pins, so good on you. Gets one through with a decent roll. T10 took some definite damage right there. And there we go. Oh, oh boy. Big fat guy. Right There you go. Right into that plate. Get that plate. Get, ooh, a little bit more. Get, get. Oh, not the turret. The plate. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that little flat plate. Especially the way he was angled. There you go. Now you're looking at the vision. Yeah, they get that flat plate. Oh, right there. Get that little plate. Do it this time. Do it for me. Thank you. Well done. 281. 281. A little bit in the lead. But you are up there kind of alone and unafraid. Watch out backing up too much and letting him put an HE shot. All he needs is a little piece of you to do a lot of damage. M12 drops a shot. Look at this. He has not taken a point of damage. Imagine that with all the guys he's faced so far. How he has managed... Oh, I think he's going to take some damage here. That, <laughs> now get in there and out-reload him. Come on, fix the engine. Fi oh, you can't. Back out. Back back out, back out, back out. Oh, yo, back out. <laughs> All right, let's think about something right there. Let's talk about this just a little bit. You are well inside his reload circle right there. You both shot roughly the same time. I'd have pulled back in position until I was ready to shoot, shot him, and then run right up and tugged up in here. There is an argument to be made that you're keeping him honest because he doesn't want to take a shot, but if I was the type four, I would accept your 200 something for the three or 400 I was gonna drop on you. So you really wanted to get in there and get a free shot on him and then force him to do something, although there's nobody back there really keeping him honest, force him to do something. Now you have switched over to the T30 if that was your intent the whole time, not bad, but I think really you were kind of messing around too much right there and you should have been setting up for another shot earlier, but nice job, you get that one in there, good on you. Shift your butt to the right. Shift your no, don't do that. Shift your butt to the right. Watch, he's just waiting for you to come out enough to get a shot on you. And if you're side scraping back and forth like that, kind of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Daring him to do that, he's gonna do it. I don't know why he hasn't shot you. It's bizarre. Maybe he shot somebody else and I missed it. Or he doesn't know what he's doing. That's possible. Oh, he's firing AP. Interesting. So maybe he's rolling with AP. That's pretty funny. There you go. Nice. Oh, that was unlucky. And he, he APs into the rocks. <laughs> if he still has it. Now get out there. Get out there. You're just about to reload. There you go. Get out there. Nicely done. Let's see if he shoots another AP round or if he's learned anything yet. 
Does he have the derp? It's hard to tell anymore. I, I'm not exactly sure whether he's got the derp or the... There we go. Well, he's shooting HE whether it's the derp or not. I can't tell. I think it is because it's got the... It's got the uh, muzzle... What is it? The muzzle brake on it, right? Uh, hard to tell. I don't know. Somebody tell me. Maybe he doesn't have the big derp gun on him. That is some intel I would have liked to have had. Nice shot right there. Goes into the... 125 takes him down. 2,693 blocked 2,500. That's like another low and a half. You were, were with you. We're with you. That's like carrying another tank and a half with you. Minus the gun, of course. There we go. Get out there. Put it into one of those little. Yeah, baby. There it is. And the Type 4 has had enough of you. He's going to come in and make sure. Yeah, I think he's just got the 10 centimeter on there, doesn't he? Bad boy. Ooh, a little rushed. A little rushed right there. There you go. Get back. Ooh. No, back up. Right into that. Right in there. <laughs> All right, one thing about that is I know you were zooming in to get that shot. I would have backed my view out a little bit, and that would have been a little bit easier, I think, to keep your gun on that. Not necessarily to third person, but I would have zoomed back a little bit. My personal technique, take it or leave it, but there you go. Sometimes when you've got it zoomed in that close, if they do a little shift and you try to follow it, you really it's really hard to watch. Hard to watch, hard to aim, let's put it that way. It's also kind of hard to watch. <laughs> Nicely done though, 3,140. We have two kills and essentially anchored the top. And I've talked about that on this map a lot of times. I've showed a lot of videos of me doing that. Basically that same thing. The one tank that gets up there and kind of owns that spot and really creates the opportunity for the rest of the team to do their thing around them. So that the enemy team can't get up there and anchor themselves at that spot. Now you would argue, well, that I4 was anchored up there. He just really played kind of poorly. He had a lot more guys, especially later on after uh, Captain Carberry got rid of a couple of the guys up there and did a nice job with them. The Type 4 was a little bit alone and unafraid in there. There's that nice zoom. Oh, we missed with the low. That's a bummer. There's some hit points we could have had. He was able to keep that Type 4 on us. The Type 4 didn't play too great. Might have shifted to the HE earlier, but like I said, I think he's not using the great big HE gun. He's just got the 10 centimeter. And a lot of people are doing that now, trying to make that happen with the Japanese. Hits pretty hard with that AP shell. But there's a lot more flexibility, I think, with the HE, at least on the Type 4, because of how big that silly derp is. And he may be grinding up, so who knows. Nicely done there, Captain Carberry. Two kills, 3,140 damage, 2,520 blocked, and even a good amount of assist is going to be a good game. And a Lerva. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. We will see you.